So I keep talking about like power salads and bullshit like that. So I'm going to teach you how to, you know, make a power salad because uh, your colon is a pretty important thing. So first of all, what I like to do is cheat. Get a little sweet kale mixture. Okay. Real simple. It comes with, believe it or not, sesame seeds and like some fucking, I think they're dried cranberries, dehydrated cranberries. I don't know. But you take those, mix that bad boy in there. It tastes good. Then, I take a little quinoa. Okay? So you boil it up, just a little parboil so it stays a little crunchy. Believe it or not, Costco has some good shit. Throw that in there. Just slop it in, man. Mix it all around. Adds a good texture. Apparently there's protein or some garbage in there. And then what I like to use is cherry tomatoes because not everybody likes tomatoes so if you don't you don't have to eat them because if they cut up tomatoes then you're fucking toxin poisoned with all them damn tomatoes also for fun sprouts now usually I make my own sprouts but I've been lazy as fuck lately so just pick some up up, mix all that in together too. Get on it. Get in it. Oh, this is a disaster, but I, it's fantastic. And might as well throw a little cucumber in. I get a little weird. I like to cut it up a little strange, you know, like almost little pieces of pasta or something like that. Mix those in there because, you know, not only are you going to sell it anyway, but cucumbers are fantastic for the digestive system. Just fantastic. You don't get much better. Okay, so. And I'm going to have to apologize again in just about half a second here. Mostly because I don't have good cheese. But you got to put cheese in there. Get a little bindage. Just using a regular marble this time out. Usually I like to use like a 14 year old cheddar or something like that, or like a jalapeno Havarti or something a little fancier. But uh, we don't have the circumstance to do it this time around. Also, by the way, I did just a piss poor job of grooming my beard today, so hopefully it doesn't look too bad. And, uh, you know. If you want to make fun of me, go right ahead. That's okay. I'm over it already. So, now we're sitting at this, right? It's looking all right. You gotta make your own bacon bits, man. It's the only way to go. It's the only way to go. I know a lot of people that I know are like vegan and vegetarian stuff, so you don't need to put bacon bits in there. But, you know. You also don't need to like yourself. And we're going to keep going with hard-boiled eggs. Now, you got to put hard-boiled eggs on there. You just have to do it. I forgot to peel them first, so I'm sorry about that. So I'm going to do that now because, you know, it need be done. It's just extra protein. Normally, I would like to use duck eggs. Okay, and people are like, duck eggs? What do you mean, duck eggs? Well, to be quite honest, they're massive. And if I can tell you exactly the difference between duck eggs and chicken eggs, uh, they taste identical. So I don't know. I don't know if there's any health benefits to having a duck egg over a chicken egg. And once again, my vegan friends are shitting themselves going, No, but don't help that foul that eats shit and doesn't care about anything. Nonetheless... They're pretty tasty if you're an egg folk. Sorry, going out again. Gotta give it a quick rinse out. Now, I don't know if you have one of these, but they're the most brilliant little cheap piece of garbage ever. You just get a little slappy of that sliced egg. Do it again. Why? Because we want more protein in there. Well, because we want. This is good for single fuck people, man, because you can make this salad and you got salad for like four days and snacks. And if you're a pothead and you get the munchies and you don't want to get chunky while you got the munchies, well, this is probably a good way to go. Then, to 
finish it off, got these little seasoned tortilla crisp things. Now I picked these up from the store, but they are not hard to make, man. A little oil, buy some tortilla chips. As soon as they're all done and crispy, put them in like a mixing bowl, toss some seasoning in while they're still all fired up. And by the end of that, you'll have some very tasty little crunchy bits to put on top of your salad. And ladies and gentlemen, there is a power salad. It may take you three days to eat, but I dare you not to poop after this. I don't go shame. Take care. Peace out.